What are the signs they need to watch out for, which must give them a signal that this has got something to do with their spine getting affected in a way? Dizziness, headaches, what is it? I think mainly children actually complain of inability to study for a long time. They say whenever reading, it's the pain starts. Sometimes it got a nerve impingement. It sometimes goes to shoulders and arms also. That also leads to, you know, that also is a thing. If a neck pain is there, I would say you exercise and medicines would help and maybe some postural change. But if sometimes it is going to your arms and there is some tingly sensation to the uh, to the arms or the legs, that is a sign that there may be some nerve pinch impingement. I would not say it is alarming, but it is definitely worth a visit to the doctor or a specialist where you can see. And if your child is actually generally taking less interest in, you know, going out. So sometimes what also I wanted to make out that because of it's not just technique alone, because these children are less exposed to sunlight, they are playing less, the stimulation in the growth period in the body is very less. So body is great. Why do you go to gym? You actually do exercises so that your body becomes, you know, it, it, it swells up, the muscles become, you know, great. If you're actually not exercising much, you have vitamin deficiency. Sometimes it is hypothyroidism also is a big problem. So the child is gaining weight. There is neck constant aches and pains. These all things also should be kept in mind. A nutritional deficiency or a hormonal problem also should be kept in mind. I'm not saying children have it. It is a very rare problem to have. But even if somebody in one in hundred has it, it is our duty to detect that. Mm. And because it can be very nicely treated and the result is going to be amazing and wonderful.